Hello everyone, welcome to the third match in the best of five show match of Revival between Mammoth here in red, who's at zero games won. His opponent is Rally Moore, the creator of Revival in yellow, who has won the first two games. Needs one more to close this out and take home the 15 pound. Big money, big money in this eSport. Avenji, where do you see this one going? I don't know anymore. I was so confident and uh... I, I definitely have had my uh, understanding of these players' skills completely shaken as Rally has come out <laughs> swinging has. and has taken some fantastic matches. Um, well, he's played the better I, game, I, I think, as well. He's played uh, the better strategy, or strategies we've seen. I'm going to say that Mamet wins this, but that's because I'm having fun and I don't want to stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, if we can convince them, maybe for the 3K celebration, if it does end up at uh, not the full five games, maybe they'll play it out. Maybe they won't. Um, well, yeah, this map, I've not seen this map before. It's actually normally a 2v2, but it's been played as a 1v1. It's pretty big. It looks like kind of a bit of a two crabs kind of situation near the main bases. I'm, I'm a big fan of this texture, I've yeah, got to be too. honest. I've gone into Worldview and it looks pretty decent from Worldview as well, which is always pleasing. Um, lots of Wildman and lots of space, but not lots of trees. That's, that's sort of been my assessment of this. There's a good abundance of trees on the middle stone head, but you're really going to have to fight for that, and whoever gets there first is going to get a probably a big advantage out of it. And even these side islands, again, lots of space, but barely any trees, so we're actually going sort of the opposite direction of where we were in the previous yeah. game, where there was lots of wood. It's easy to think in a normal game with the default restrictions and the default style, the meta as it's called, to think that, right, we'll expand here, slap towers down, braves everywhere. But in this, you, you, you kind of want to consolidate your base and move, I want to say gradually. Otherwise, you spread yourself too thin and you're open to attack some all the different troops that are available. Um, that's just my opinion there. I'm not saying that's fact, but uh, obviously I would take it. Battle here in the center. It looks like Rally again getting the best of Mammut with the Shaman Blast Battles and takes control of them. They both actually charged the Lambridge and went to the center there, Benji. Beautiful blast trick from uh, Rally Mer there, giving him the edge over Mammut, who tried to do the same. Mammut's kind of underestimating Rally's Shaman there. He's casting a lot less blasts every time they're um, sort of going into a blast door, and he's not getting these wins as a result of it. Both players opting for a Temple and Fiery Hood. Uh, Mammut already with quite a handful of uh, creatures there. Yeah, I think the Temple is pretty mandatory. It's going to give you defense against many sort of avenues. It gives you defense against normal warrior runbys. It gives you defense against warriors that are invisible. It also gives you defense against magically shielded warriors, all three of which are big early game threats when a game of revival sort of kicks off. So I think if you don't build a temple, you're leaving yourself open to pretty big damage. Very important in populace to have a defense established as quick as possible, especially when you're connected to the enemy. Because, uh, in the normal game, fire orders you need in towers to protect yourself from the shame. That convert was very unfortunate. Cast it, nothing got converted. Mammoth's going for the opposite island, the one with the two stone heads. Rally's island only has a one, but he's cast damage up to the top there. That would be nice to fortify on that hill as well with some towers. And Mammoth's doing the same. Okay, like they're copying each other here. Yeah, so it looks like we could be seeing another drawn out game here as both. Oh, I don't like that. Go into worldview and look what uh, look what Mammoth's done that point you were talking about just gone in and he has slapped down five towers that was that's 25 wood gonna kill a lot of trees to build those towers yeah rally's doing a similar with the three the thing is you can't you spread yourself too thin in my opinion you have you'll need to defend it Defend all these areas and you'll have more trained troops maybe in defense or you won't have anything in defense and they'll be easily mopped up. Uh, whereas if you have a more consolidated base, you can defend it more easily. You're not spread out 
Yeah, but I mean, pros and cons, I suppose. It's not been played enough to actually uh, test, and who am I to say when Riley's going for the stone head here on his island? He's got to fortify that with the towers as well, so maybe that's his play. Tornado. Yep, tornado on the hut. Shaman Ooh. was in there, and she is thrown into the drink. Ooh, ooh, ooh. When it's not your day, Lavenji, it's not your day. Definitely unfortunate there for Mamu, but that was a water death, so of course that means he's going to get the reduced death timer out of that. And he's put down even more bloody towers. Stop Wait, it! He's got those two towers on the on the hill there. If he gets them filled up, that's great. They overlook in the centre. He probably take that tower out and put pressure on the Rally Shaman there. The two towers on the hill I like a great deal. Uh, mm. Oh, they've been eroded. They've been eroded! Yep, so that's the power of that the valley being with the eroded. <laughs> it just increases the radius that gets eroded, and it oh. sort of creates this nice uh, crescent moon shape. Quite nice. But uh, all that wood, completely wasted. All the trees on this island, basically close to death. Yeah, could he have taken the wood back to his main base? I wouldn't have taken the wood back to my base, I just would have built one tower and some huts. Looks like he's, he's focusing on the stone head, so he's maybe hoping to get those towers up and use them for defense of the stone head. But of course, a balloon, uh, a balloon or a boat from behind the stone heads, Shaman lands there, blasts all those braves, no problem at all. We'll see if Rally's thinking of anything similar. Yes, he is. Look, we've got yeah. the balloon hut. There is a balloon hut in play, not currently being uh, built, but uh, used. But it is, it does exist. Craig, how many, how much wood is in? Does a balloon hut cost? It takes eleven, eleven pieces <laughs> of wood to build that bad boy. And are you asking me now? Because it was just today I was re I was making the quiz, and that was one of the old questions I had to uh, remove. So. It's me, uh, something I knew straight at hand. Thank you for that. You make me seem like a popular uh, savant. <laughs> I asked because I actually, ever since that quiz, I, I've been asking that question to people. You'd be surprised how many people think it's eight. Eight? No. Yes, a lot of people think the balloon hut is eight wood, like all the uh, training hats. It is not. It's an impressive 11. It is. That's why it's quite a big... Um, Investment, even on like the first map we played, we talked about balloons, but there wasn't. It, it's really big, like land-wise. It kind of can sometimes get in the way of, of having like three potential huts. So, really, got to be uh, worth it as an investment. And it could be for Ali. We'll see. He's getting attacked now by Mahmoud Shame, but he's not. He's got tornadoes and lightnings. And does the notifications from Mahmoud look orange to you, or was that just me? Um. That's just you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, those, those, those are red. <laughs> All right. Shame is still alive. Another, another. Ooh, teleport gone off. Taking out the temple by the looks of things. So he's got, got, got in there and done what he wanted to do. Yeah. So Mamut's sort of shown his hand here. He wanted to take out that temple and immediately get those preachers in, spread them out, mix them up amongst the huts, and. Okay. Uh, Increase your population that away. What has Riley just got? I'm the foggiest. <laughs> well, whatever it is, <laughs> it might have been magical shield or hypno or something like that. Or, but it looks like on the opposite side, Mamut's about to pick up two spells. Well, meanwhile, Riley's pushing straight through the center of his base. He's got to notice himself. He's pushed in the water though. You could see that coming from a mile off. Uh, Preacher's great in goes. the center. Into the drink. Let's see uh, what. If, let's see if we can figure out what exactly. Jimmy says it was a road. Here. It was an road. Rally has the road stone head. Marvelous. Okay, let's see what we get from here. I'm excited. I see. One of these enough. has to be hit now, right? Hit no magical shield. Oh, I call it. And magical I shield. Yeah. Those are. Big pickups for the playstyle that Mamut is trying to go for right now. They actually complement him perfectly. Mm. Temple has been rebuilt by Rallymer, though. You do have to bear that in mind. Be a good time for Mamut to maybe look at 
boats instead of a balloon because balloons are quite expensive. He's got 10 Braves worshipping there. They're obviously, they're generating maximum mana because they are busy. Could they be doing other things though? Could they be creating huts? He's actually got 11 there. He's got one more than he needs. And he gets an investment there. His magical shield is still 500, uh, 500 points of mana. Or 600 rather. His Hypno still 850. I don't know if those values have been changed. But for the time investment there, you're getting the equivalent of about... 1,400 points of mana, something like 1,500. Craig doing some quick maths. Quick maths there. Meanwhile, 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 <laughs> meanwhile, we need the man. Meanwhile, he's going in the water in the same location he was before. Oh, he's managed to no, get away. No, he's not. The Braves actually ran away there. Have they? He's going to go. He's going to go. Oh, he's champion. got a swarm. He is. He's the Olympic champion. This boy. We should have mentioned that at some point. There's the erode. erode. It actually makes see. a hole, but it only that's terrible. <laughs> Why is it yeah. still so bad? It a little bit disappointing because yeah. I would have thought it would get that extra hut as well. I thought it and should then, have definitely. Not quite sure what happens there, but again, because of that valley effect when cast on low ground, it can make its own puddle now, mm -hmm. which is still annoying because that's actually two huts worth of space that he's just lost. It's good. Would Earthquake have been better there? Potentially. Well, yes. he got the Erode for free, remember? Oh, yes, you are correct. But he's losing that Erode now to, I'm guessing, Invisible Preachers. They're, they're Preachers of some form. They're visible now, but they probably were invisible at the he's moment. He's going to lose one, up. though. He's going to lose it to the Fire Warrior. He's got to watch his Shaman. He's got to watch his Shaman. What is she doing? Oh, you... died the Fire Warriors in the towers there, was it? Ingus, yeah, yeah. Yeah, died to those fire warriors in the towers, just walking next to them, not doing anything. As we say, there's a lot going on. He's probably trying to manage his troops at the same time. It's just all about that APM, the correct multitasking, doing the right thing at the right time, and sometimes... You know, you, you exactly. Do, you do so when you're playing Revival, you need to be, you know, as on top of all your quote-unquote standard popular skills. You really do need the shift enter hotkey to go straight into worldview and skip the animation because that's all saved time. And when your APM is being tested this heavily, that's important. Saving time, saving microseconds is important. The other hotkey that I know some players use is the camera waypoint hotkeys, which are worth which are worth learning. Again, if you're if you're playing on a map like this, you set one camera waypoint on your second base you set one camera waypoint on the middle you set one camera waypoint on their second base and you can quickly move between the three maybe i like to use those keybinds for spells though Do you? <laughs> oh yeah i've got my whole left side of my keyboard set up so magical shielded preachers now from mahmoud so of course he got these magical shields for free he's got hypnos as well if he needs them the Probably warrior in there, defense. I expect we'll see. Yeah, there's the hypnotize. Hypnotize, not the God greatest. Spread those troops. And the lightning's good, though. Mamu walking forward. We're noticing this in Revive. Especially Mamu's not dodging as you would in the normal game. Maybe not expecting the player to have lightnings. You've still got to, you've still got to act like a, a smart shaman and be prepared for anything. Yeah, Mamu's doing his best AI impression at the moment, I think. <laughs> he's grouping up his troops, he's casting a magical shield, and then he's walking in a straight line. I like the uh, balloon uses. We've seen our first balloon, which is good. That ping was way off, but okay. He's got another one with warriors in his base. So we're going to see some of that. Jamin's walking in there now. Very easy. No, no fireworks in these huts at all. He's come past this way three times now. He's coming in the water oh, again. Oh, oh. Rally, rally, rally. What are we watching? Push. Beautiful little push from that brave there. That guy earned himself a medal before he gets absolutely slaughtered later on. You think if uh, Rally were to put a fire warrior in a balloon here, they would avoid the fire warriors in towers and destroy and disrupt the Braves? Yes, they would. Uh, Rally has only got the two balloons. I mean, he's got one defensive in his expansion. He could make use of that. Lightning is on towers. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um, pushing through the center when there's, there's so many other avenues to attack on this level where you could be, rather than taking the ruse off a couple of towers, you, you know, you could be taking out a trading hook by flying over Warriors in a balloon are going into the temple. They're going to take out the temple by the looks of it. Oh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I love that. Earthquake from Manute. 
don't like this earthquake, but we'll find. I definitely don't like that earthquake. That is potentially the worst earthquake I've seen in a year. I wish I could say the same, but I I, I see some truly tragic earthquakes playing <laughs> playing populace. <laughs> it's even more devastating because it's cost more. Um, you know, and, well, and that's exactly the point. It costs a lot more, and therefore, it's an investment that you have to build towards and actually make sure you're getting the most out of it. Um, I don't know what the Age of Empires equivalent is, as I'm not as proficient, but it would be like building an entire group of Dark Templars in StarCraft and then just running them in on cannons and letting them all die. It's a huge investment. Yeah, it's like creating bot barn cannons and then having them just get picked away immediately. Yeah, exactly. Um, so a lot of troops here from from my moon. It looked initially scary, but he, he cast two hypnotizers, which I think did nothing. Thankfully, he did get them free, but still, you could have put them to more use. Lightning mist from Rally. Rally's got those fire always in the balloons there in defense, which he could target a shaman with. Shaman's gone down now. Again, those balloons should be targeting the shaman. Yeah, so those hypnotizers, Mammoth's using them to clear out uh, fire warriors in huts. Rally has had fire warriors in most of these huts, okay. and the hypnotizers. Uh, that invisibility was a bit weird. Um, oh, I missed it. He, he cast it on one of Rally's preachers. Ah. It's well, not, he's killed it there. Probably not what he wanted to happen there. Uh, Rally um, lost the sender. He's lost his footing at the foot of his base here. He has got troops in defence. He's still got the second island. He's praying out for the Lambre uh, for the Erode. Mamut, though, again, his side, he's been given free reign. He's happily getting the free magical shields and hypnotizers. No one going for the uh, Angel of Death stone ahead in the middle yet? That of, is. <laughs> that's Angel of Death, yes. I'm, a couple of Braves could take out the towers there from Rally. Uh, Mamut could set his own towers up and pray at the same time if he's got the capability. He's Warrior Hut, uh, excuse me, his temple was taken down halfway, so you can't get any preachers at the moment. Yep, yeah, it's got no workers on it either, so no one eager to repair Ooh, it. Oh, Shimmers. Oh, that was close. Swarms missed one. It's going to get the other one. He, oh, he falls out, and the balloon's being popped. There you go. There's the balloon being broken by the tower. Oh, that's an important lightning, I feel, there for Rally to take out my moon shaman. Could you give us a population count, Mr. Levenger? I absolutely can. It's 112 out of 176 for Mammut and 0 out of 5 for you, and 86 <laughs> out of 137. So Mammut has got, what, a 40 population advantage, was that? Yes, yes. That close is to, close to uh, 30 to 40 population advantage. It is significant. But he'll probably notice now because his shaman's just. Re yeah, he has noticed. The beautiful thing about uh, what Rally did with that temple there is he did it without getting into a fight. Yeah, no now, notification. Now, what that means. Mm -hmm. What that means is there was no notification. So, throughout that entire attack, Mamut was probably selecting braves, shift clicking the temple icon to train more preachers, and nothing was happening. Yeah, they were getting killed by warriors. Oh, well, if the warriors weren't there, nothing was happening. You're right. Yeah. And he, he'd have been none the wiser until he respawned just there. Oh, Dref, thanks for the 27 month, and thanks for the congratulations. You're going to be a dad. What a way to announce yourself, Dref. Congratulations, man. Congratulations, Dref. Oh, we've got a big attack from the Shaman. She jumped in from the balloon. She's on the temple. She's on the Fire Warrior hut. Yeah, he's she's trying to prevent little, the production of further train around. followers. There's an earthquake. Lakai on the hats. Oh, that's, that's the earthquakes you want to see. That's and better. And in the road. Oh, look at that. It, oh, there that's hard. Go. Yeah, he's taking out the there two buildings. Go. Meanwhile, uh, Mammut's counterattacking in Rally's base. Now, remember, Mammut did have more population, more mana generation. What's he going to have to do there? He's taking out the towers with lightning, swarming the other ones and the fire warriors. Another erode. Not a great one that time. So, I've got an opinion you may disagree with. Go on. I actually, whilst that erode was damaging, I don't think it was great. 
because that land is now all completely free to use and he's not getting the most out of that Oh, you mean the, the initial erode? Yeah, because what? it did do damage and it did take out the huts. Yeah. But no, no, you're right. He's now not going to get the 90 seconds of having no temple because it's been recently on fire. He can now, yeah, you see, he's rebuilding it straight away. Well, I think the second land. erode has sort of allowed the first erode to be look even worse because it's actually flattened the land. So you can just build yeah. lots down there, can't you? Absolutely. So, whilst it was fun to watch a road do that much damage, I actually think that that was probably a bit of a misplay, a sort of desperation to use the mana there. Yeah, I think the best place to use them would probably be on these thin strips, to be honest, and try to sink the huts. That would be a good place to use it. Um, these or you little could fly islands, up here and do it there. Well, these sub islands that both players have been building on. Um, not They've also got puddles. Well, they've not been attacked, but they're also full of puddles, so they're great places for a road as well. Yeah. Rally chilling in a balloon, contemplating all the things, all the decisions that he's made. No vehicles at all from Mammoth. He's playing the, the land game. Uh, balloons so far, I've not seen much influence with them, apart from that uh, temple being destroyed. I still would have liked to have seen some fireworks interrupting those uh, units praying, of course. I mean, the green bar for Mammoth right now is intimidating. It's 184. Intimidating whereas, green bar. Whereas it's only 117. So when we're talking potential max tribe size, it's not the only factor. But in terms of boots on the ground, that will add up over time. You know what would have been great? Um, the Temple of... Mammoth's been deactivated, so should you say, for quite a while. Some invisible preachers. And that, in fact, there's a one there now, I think. I think he might be doing the same thing. If he gets them spread around, he could do a lot of damage. Um, and again, it would hold Mammoth shaman off, and Riley's trying to make a play for the middle now. Mammoth wisely pulls those warriors back. My wife is in chat, congratulating Dref. There's the AOD again. Another end of the death. Be careful, Mamu. You're going too close to the AOD. Oh, he's gone he's too gone. close to the AOD. He's gone. The hypnotize is great as well. It's taken all those warriors that were all magical shielded. Oh, oh what's just happened? No! <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. That was potentially a huge window for Rally there, and it's gone with a single fire warrior shot. Oh, he was into coming in with drink. troops and an angel of death as well. Uh, the Stoneheads for Red have gone. Whereas uh, Rally still can get a few more roads. Oh, angel of death not being worshipped. Oh, Red's taking full advantage of that. He's got a second uh, fire warrior training house up on that island now. Although he's Very got wise. no wood with which to build it. Oh, I'm sure he can bring wood from somewhere. Bases are looking a bit spectacular right now, and I don't mean that in the sense of, like, wow, just a bit of a spectacle. Very messy. The numbers still favour Mamu right now, but there is an angel of death around being a nuisance. Noelia, see if you can activate um, gift sub acceptance. You might be able to get a free gift sub. Although on your phone, you may not be able to. That was totally relevant to the gameplay. We've got four balloons being created here by Arali. What's he planning? What is he planning? The trade in the middle has uh, gone Mammoth's way. That Big Shaman. Yeah, he's got to watch out. That AOD. That will target it's you, Mammoth. smell him. It smelled him. There it is. Sm he's lightning to one preacher. Why? Well, that is such a waste of mana. Okay. It actually got two Preachers because oh, it killed on. that one Preacher <laughs> and disrupted the other Preacher. So the warrior that he was preaching to then murdered him. So it got two Preachers. Sorry, I stand corrected. It was an amazing use of the Leiden. <laughs> Look, we've got to give him something, okay? The poor guy's <laughs> struggling with AODs right now. Doesn't seem to know how they work. Here we go. Here's the uh, balloon assault. It looks like it's warriors, in fact. 
I'm surprised that you are just, you know, if I was in Mamet's position, which I'm not because I'm nowhere near as competent as he is, um, I'd just fill in that giant puddle. Then you've got loads of space to maneuver around mm -hmm. things like the AOD. Has Mamu you know, missed those warriors and Rally went forward with those warriors and balloons, forgetting that Mamu Chairman had just died. Mamu Chairman respawns. He quickly turns away, then Mamu just ignores him and runs to the front. Um, those balloons have popped on the side there. They've achieved nothing. I do think they die a bit too quickly, but that's me. But they've landed. They're going to do some damage, but they're all clumped up taking damage. What's Rally Shaman doing from this balloon? He's going to land in the COR now. Another erode he's just picked up. Please don't cast it somewhere horrible. That was the final erode. So that erode Stonehead is now also gone. Just the Angel of Death Stonehead available. Tornado on the temple. Very good. Now, Rally has the erode, but he also has an earthquake. And in response uh, to the six warriors, Mamut sent nearly all of his troops over to the side. That is... <laughs> oh my god, what happened? Oh my... What a horrific erode! Did he even destroy he anything apart from himself. himself? He destroyed one heart and drowned himself. God, he's useless <laughs> with erodes. Useless! <laughs> oh, that is very, very funny. <laughs> That might be my play of the uh, play of the match. Jesus, I mean, you know what we don't see enough of is ghosts being cast and pulling the fire always out the towers. It's not happening. Ghosts are significantly weaker in revival, so they they can be used like that, but they're not uh, they're but not as but if there's one tower, it's surely it's better than tornado. Oh yeah, 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 Abs absolutely. On a single tower, they can do that. When you're talking like these clusters of towers of like three, oh, yeah. ghosts are worthless. <laughs> yeah, they got lower health, haven't they? Yes, oh, yeah, much back. lower health. Yeah, but so what? <laughs> Must have something. He's got, a, he's got the earthquake that he had when he drowned himself last time. He does have a firestorm as well. He should have eroded that. Uh... Oh, he's done it again! <laughs> <laughs> he's so again! No! Yeah. I I and he didn't even take out the out. fire warrior hood. Oh my god. I just want to call out my premonition when you said he was at the back and I said, so what? Yeah. <laughs> there you, you go. Knew. You that's, knew. That's why. <laughs> the gift of foresight. And now, <laughs> Mammoth here is taking the balloon. He's never built a balloon hut. And he's heading across the ocean as we speak. Do you know that the big problem that Rally has? All mm. of his huts are grouped up. They are here and they are here. If, if Mammy gets in amongst that, because he's got two earthquakes, he can drop the... Yeah, I, I see it. What's he doing? I've, I've been listening for them. Boy. I've been listening for them. <laughs> I've been listening for them. But, Spies uh, potentially on the field now, folks. If Mammy gets in amongst... Oh, turn around, Mammy. Turn around. Oh, Run away. Oh. Straight line, straight. He's going to head to the tower, the safety of his towers. Yeah, Rally pulls it back. Don't turn around and try to go again. Just go a different direction. Go a different direction. He's going again. Go a oh, different he could have cut him off, I think, if he clicked where they he was going. They're absolutely going to cut him off. This is intense stuff right now. This is... This is the second time he's disappointed me with his terrible The Angel of Death control. in Mammoth's base this time. Mammoth's Shaman's nowhere near, just... he just... <laughs> what happened to Mammoth's Shaman? He died. He died. Yeah, he got killed by that balloon. Because he didn't go in a different direction. Oh. Sky, thanks for another $2, mate. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Very, very poor drowning skills indeed. But... He's back in the base. He's got troops to support him. Mamu Chairman's back now. Another erode. Is it going to do anything? All three? All, f all one? Firestorm. But Rally's making a great move here. A great play. And the Shaman dies. But again, damage has been done there, I think. There's another Aeon you know, Death in defense now. Trying to lightning. Don't try to lightning the angel. I, I don't agree with the strategy. I don't agree. Let it do its thing. Concentrate your mana elsewhere. 
Drift, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Thank you, man. Congratulations again for your, uh, you and your lovely wife. Yeah, congratulations, Drift. I don't know how gifted memberships are really working at the moment because we've got about 15 in perpetuity. Just the people haven't claimed or they aren't able to claim. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I don't know how it works either. It's strange. So there's a uh, small armada of warriors inside the fire warrior training hut just being cleaned up by Mammoth. Shaman's gonna die. And Ooh, Shaman's gonna die. Being Ooh. She's alive. Just about. So, Rally's pushed forward. He has taken the pop lead for himself as well, and it's quite a significant one too. So, yeah, I mean, he's taken uh, the center. He's going for the stone head in the middle now. He's gonna go for the angel of death. If anyone's look not looking at their chat or uh, watching the stream on a computer, uh, you might have a little button that says "Accept Gifted Memberships." So you can click that, get a free membership to the channel. Provided by the lovely uh, Dref and Sky and Bacon from earlier. Well, lovely, not lovely big. He's not lovely at all. Another shame ball here. Tornadoes, lightnings, blasts, and Rally is victorious yet again. I would love to see the KD over all three games. I think that's going to be GG, Aimburn. Is I this the win? I think have done it. I think it is. Larissa. Losing access to your warrior training hut. Congratulations, welcome to the tribe. You're welcome, Bacon. <laughs> yeah, this is looking like it's over. I mean, he's still got the side base. Um, I presume that probably is his next target. Uh, rallies, that is. I am disappointed because this was Mammoth's game to lose and he seems to have found the path to the exact yeah, path. It, it's, just, it's, not, it's just lack of... Um, Anything really, no, like no, no killing blows, no. He just seems to be wandering, is his game he was, style. He was just on the back foot. Even when he had the population lead, he was sat in his base on the back foot, waiting for Rally to do things. Yeah, he's 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 he's, he's, he's um, reactive rather than proactive. Is that right? Yes, yes. That's that, that's that's this probably the smart way to say it. <laughs> And that's not something we can normally see, let me tell you that. He's got a balloon with some fire oils, it's gonna be enough to stop those preachers. Oh, we've got the spies, the spies are on the field. Oh. Here they come. Got these ones that look like Braves under a tower. And see yeah. one of them, oh, they've been uncovered. One of them has. I mean, knows who them have. But even then, that's annoying. It takes your focus away from things. You've got to be clicking on spies. Um, it's looking very, very bleak. If he goes in the water here, it's hilarious. Hilariously sad, but still hilarious. He has managed to survive. Yeah. Um, this spy is going to successfully burn that tower. I know we've not mentioned it, but uh, Revival, of course, is played on the, the 1.5 version of the game, so there is no population limit. Or at least there's not one set. So they could keep expanding, they could keep building. Indefinitely, really. Nice shot from Mammut. It could be a worthy strategy from Rally Moon now to start uh, just expanding more. He's, he's taken so much. Like, if he were just to fill in here a little bit, here, and just, you know, just get more huts up and just keep putting the pressure on. But I think also flooding the enemy with troops is also a very viable option right now because Mammoth is extremely weak and defenseless. Honestly, instead of expanding, all he needs to do is connect here and it's over. Mm hmm. Yeah, it seems to be that he's like not going directly that way at all. I don't know why. Um, didn't happen this side either. They just they just kept they, they just kept going the one direction. I don't know why they didn't try mixing it up either of them. I mean, Riley obviously hasn't had to, but Mahmoud certainly could have done that when he was ahead. Yeah, with a lot of those big attacks where he just died in the middle doing nothing, those could have been sides. They could have been opened up additional paths, you know. Which surprises me for a player like Mamo, who I would argue is 
well, I don't even think it's an argument. He is the better player in a standard game, the same meta that's been played for 20 years. Mm -hmm. But he's not flexed any of that skill, any of that ability to cope on multiple angles. You know, Mamut's favorite map is Dead Sea, and he's not flexing any Dead Sea skills in this in this match. So your Mahmood right now, what is your win condition? I don't think there is one. There isn't one. Uh, the population difference right now is 73 to 139. Mahmood does have two earthquakes, but he's just going to drown to troops. Rally did the land bridge that we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. There's a swamp on the temple being a nuisance. I just, this is just, there's warriors about to jump into the fire warrior training hat. Oh, that's nice. I think that you just, um, you just die. Yeah, I like that from Rally, putting the warriors in balloons and, and then you can send them across to different areas of the map. And the shaman can't be here, there and everywhere at once, so... That's the thing, you try and get, get out the mindset that your shaman is everything. Because in the meta of the normal game, she kind of is. I mean, the warriors and things I mean, generally do the damage after the damage has already been done. I'd make a counterpoint in that Mamu forgot that. He didn't. He charged spells like his shaman was everything, but he didn't treat her like she was everything because he let her die to balloons. He let her die just to towers walking because he wasn't controlling her. If you're gonna play like your shaman is everything, mana is your investment, then you've got to watch your shaman. You've got to protect her. Can't just let her die in stupid ways constantly. And that's really where I think Mamut has fallen down. He's just died in some very embarrassing ways. That's a good Earthquake. Oh, see, you can still play Earthquake and do a lot of oh, damage. Just can't be your only strategy, I feel. And the Shaman you is just... still, like you said, a very, very powerful unit. You have to uh, be smart with her and use her appropriately and keep her alive. But when there's balloons coming from every direction, you need uh, your own yeah. troops for defense. Absolutely. Um, and, and it's sort of, it's showing here. It's a little bit disappointing that this was a 3-0, because I was hoping to um, see some more competitiveness. Yeah, it was it's a 3-0 in the direction, I thought. I'm real, oh. real chuffed for Rally. Did well. Is this pinnacle revival gameplay? I don't think so, but it's great to see two players who are actually playing the mode and giving it, uh, giving it the best. No, but you think we've had 24 years to define the pinnacle. Uh, well, 20 years for Populous Reincarnated. The uh, 20 years of defining what our pinnacle style of play was going to be for that nonsense. And now, and now we're on to um, we're on to a brand new game, which means a brand new meta, and it's going to take the work of pros, number crunchers, developers, everyone really, to define what the best way to play here is going to be. Hmm. It's going to be down to people like you to keep hosting show matches for it. <laughs> well, I think most of all it's going to require commitments from just some players to play the mode. Uh, they'll have to come out the comfort zones and, and learn how to use everything in Populous, really. Um, I think this is more um, suitable to be shown to newer players who obviously come from the campaign where they've had access to everything, so they'll come into this. Maybe they'll have to learn a few like the way the spells work a bit differently but at least they don't have to um unlearn everything per se and learn an entirely new way of playing the game well it is and it isn't right because as the this is i would say this is infinitely harder to play than standard meta because there's a lot more going on oh, and a lot more focus you know taking up your focus so you, it will be something that newer players will be they'll at least know what everything that's going on but at the same time, this is going to be this is going to be difficult for people to wrap their heads around because so much is happening, right? Mm -hmm. But we're just waiting for we're just waiting for Mamut to surrender at this point. Yeah, I was eating more quiche. Yeah, did you finish it? No, I've still got uh, an eighth left. An eighth of a quiche left. Oh, a quarter. On it. I'd be worried if you can't tell the difference between a quarter and an eighth, my friend. Hi. Well, it's just remembering how big the quiche was. Hi. 
Okay, so yeah, even more warriors are coming in here. They're spreading themselves out amongst the huts. There's an AOD causing trouble. I don't know what Mammoth's doing. It, it is 100% over. It's just trying to talk. If you wanted to finish your piece, you are welcome to. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got the populous quiz coming up after this, where we will be do going through 10 populous questions for your chance to win the Chumara Shaman doll. What a performance in Dave Steph. I don't know if you talked about my, my, my guns earlier, Steph, but uh, I do, in fact, have a license for these guns. Tornadoes. So we have the Ghost Shaman, actually. Uh, confused me there for a half a second. And the Shaman's died again. Yeah, that's pretty much the story of Manu's entire game in this best of five. Is he goes up, he casts a spell, he dies. Bit of a big map, perhaps, for a 1v1. Um, but, I mean, because it's kind of some... Maybe it's dragged on a bit too long, 40 minutes for a 1v1. Well, the player should surrender. <laughs> oh. Well, yes, it's obviously over now, but... Uh, He's at 40 population to... He just wants uh, to keep me on rounds. schedule, so... the. So at nine o'clock is the quiz. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, he knows, he knows. He's planning, he's planning ahead, planning ahead. Oh, he's been tricked by the ghost, that's it. My boy's gonna win now. All ogre now. All over. Nothing he can do, he's got the fire oils and the balloons. He's gonna swarm them out. Kill himself. A nice, look at that. Oh, oh, he's picked off. That was clever. Uh, probably a, a lot of mana to do that, but that was pretty clever. Now, how much mana is a hill? Yes. <laughs> I remember hill initially being quite low cost because like, oh, we can use it to make defenses. But then it was like, oh, we can use it to destroy it, it, an entire base. It can take out four huts when yeah. cast correctly. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, maybe it needs to cost a bit more, but then you can't really use it for defensive purposes. So it's difficult. It's the balance, isn't it? It's so hard. Yeah, and when you combine that with the fact that uh, Populous as a multiplayer game was a very last-minute addition, you can see why the game was as it was and was never really uh, balanced out in the same way that some of its competitor RTSs were. It was cheaper than Earthquake. Well, I've appreciated casting with me, the Venji. Are you going to join in on the quiz? I might. <laughs> well, we were at 17 wanna, viewers, wanna, so you I know. I don't want to win the Yellow Shaman and not be able to win the Orange Shaman. We've we've been over this. I'm the I'm shaman. all in. I'm all in on the Orange Shaman. If my wife's in the chat, you hear that, Norelia? Um Orange Shaman. <laughs> when are we going to make that one? She still needs to obviously start making the Chimara one. So whoever wins the quiz is going to have a bit of a weight on their hands. Um, but yeah, I've made the quiz. It's ten questions. It's gonna be fun. Hope you enjoy it. I need to get a bit more drunk before I start doing it, so I can have a laugh. Can't have a laugh when I'm sober. My wife knows this. She complained about it yesterday. Can't go anywhere without a drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, she of, does Timmy know you better than anyone else. <laughs> Timmy <laughs> Vans, I'm British. Uh, Mamma, you're on 17th pot, my friend. Save us some time. <laughs> He's got a brave of shame for good measure as well. <laughs> I don't know who Lorraine is, but she tastes nice. Maybe don't say that in front of your wife. <laughs> Sorry, my wife likes her as well. <laughs> Both big fans of Lorraine, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, we're just waiting for this game to be over, guys. But like I say, um, yeah, enjoyed it. It's been fun to fun to watch, fun to accommodate something differently. I 
do hope we see a few more people playing it, but I think the onus is mostly on the players and maybe the populous reignited community spread the awareness of the fact that this mode is available. Um, I mean, we need to get this translated from a um, from a map leaderboard to an actual leaderboard as well, so it can be pushed competitively. Oh, is it just uh, a map leaderboard? More. Yeah, it's just a map leaderboard at the moment. Oh. It's not like Arena. No, it's not like Arena. That's what I was hoping it would be like, but it is, it is not like that. Oh, Mano knew which Shaman was the real one. Come on, Riley, just make a thousand... Oh, yeah, there's a bit of thousand balloons. Put the fireworks in them. Magical shield them up. Let's go. Don't even need the magical shield at this point. He's got 13 population. <laughs> Come on. Well, I have to thank my mood anyway. He um, took a day off work to come and play this, so maybe he's feeling. Oh, that's very kind of him. Maybe he's feeling a bit peed off again. Be three 0 I would be. If I was a player of Mammoth skill and I lost three 0 I'd, I'd be real miffed. But uh, Mammoth's Mammoth's pretty friendly guy. I'm sure he's taking it in his stride. Mhm. Mm he also won the red shaman, so. Who's, who's laughing, really? He's got the shaman doll. Riley doesn't. Well, that's... Well, now if Riley does get the shaman doll, I'm going to call rigged. <laughs> <laughs> He's called the GG. That brings the showmaster to a close. Best of five over in a, in a sweep there by Riley. 3-0. The complete inverse of what I was predicting. Mm. I'm um, happy to see it. I didn't ask you predictions, actually. What are your predictions for this uh, show match, uh, the match? Uh 3-0 Mamu, which, <laughs> as you can see, worked out well for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't put a bet on either on the channel, did I? Oh, well. He's called the GG, but not surrendered. Oh... GGing and not surrendering. It's the worst. Greg, you're the only streamer I watch. That's amazing, Larissa. Thank you. I feel sad for the other streamers who probably stream more actively because I never stream. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy it. Well, that was it. It's over. That was the end of that. Congratulations to Mammut. He takes away the 15,000 penny prize. Um, yeah. And Mammut takes the five pound prize. Ooh, big money there. But uh, it was all about uh, showcasing the new mode, really. And yeah, it was good. Enjoyed it.